I'm feeling like the guy I'm talking to on Tinder is too attractive for me. I don't feel like <laughs> I, I lack self-confidence. I'm normally fine with that. But he's just very stereotypically attractive and I wonder if he'll lose interest. I'm a gay cis guy, so maybe it's part of an insecurity with being more femme in gay spaces where mask guys are seen as more desirable, which is a label he would fit, I guess. Anyway, I feel like thinking about this makes me more awkward around him and it seems like too intense a thing to actually bring up at this stage. Thoughts? So this is interesting because when I just read this, my first initial action uh, answer that I was going to say was like, if they sound too good to be true, they probably are. That's what I was going to say. However, now that we talked about our previous one, I'm thinking, fucking hell, well, okay, they might be prettier, but like you might be greater in all these other ways and you can absolutely stun them and be an absolute fucking incredibly uh, fucking clever, intelligent, funny person with all these references and ambitions and everything. And what are they? Pretty. Yeah. I mean, I do know from a friend that like, um... Can I take the little... This? That or the... That? Oh, yes, or not. Is, um... Like, in gay spaces, I do know that there is more of a... Uh, there tends to be a more of a, um... Mask versus femme dynamic than there is in like uh, other kinds of spaces. So like you're in certain gay spaces where mask guys are seen as more desirable and you you are more femme appearing. I think that's true. I think I mean I, mean, I think that can be a true situation. I also know from my own experience though is that being the rare quantity makes you attractive to a whole variety of people that. Um, that fit the mask norm, but aren't looking for another mask because sometimes, you know, there's like, it's like obviously in like the lesbian scene, you have butch and femme being a thing. And like, I, I go to spaces all the time, people are like, there's not enough femmes. And I feel super insecure because I'm dressed femme and therefore no one's going to read me as gay and it's this whole thing. But actually, I'm a rare quantity and everyone apparently is just too intimidated to talk to me. So I've heard from my friends, I'm not bragging. So like, there is that. Like, where, like, yeah, he's fitting the, the mold of what is expected to be desirable in that space, but you are, you are the exception, which is maybe, like, actually more interesting and more sexy to a lot of people. But I will say, the fact that you already have those feelings, and this, I guess a bit late, this October, mm. um, I worry you won't be able to ever bury them and so you will be that person that i'm sorry if this is going to be in separate segments and we're referring to previous questions which is kind of annoying so please check kind of i guess the whole episode because they may not be in order apologies but i guess you are a little bit like the person from the previous question where they're saying you know i'm not good enough for you hence you know we can't be together or whatever mm. So, no, I mean, so if you do internalize that feeling, that will always haunt you. And so in other respects, then you won't reveal how great you are because you will never have the confidence. I know myself, if I'm like intimidated sometimes by one thing, sometimes fall into the trap of like not revealing the rest because it's like, well, this is kind of already kind of it's true. shitty, you know? It's true. Yeah. Like obviously self-esteem is a huge thing to work on. I mean, you say that you, you don't lack self-confidence, which is really great. It's just that he's really attractive. But also you've said that you've been talking to each other on Tinder. So clearly there's a conversation happening. Like, is there a flow? Are you finding each other funny or charming and stuff? Like, I can be won over by someone who is like below standard looks because of their like great discourse. Easily. Ten times. Whereas I can be turned off by someone who is like super fine looking but turns out to be boring and not a great conversation. I don't <laughs> oh see, I was giving you eyes to things, I was referring to a specific person. Oh, yeah, 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 no, yeah, that's true. Yes, yes, looks is not everything. It's for not sure. everything. For sure, no, 100%. Confidence is everything. Being a good conversationalist. Yes, yes, asking questions. <laughs> and money. We're such scumbags. We're obviously kidding, you've seen all our videos. Yeah, it's fine. yeah. But, I mean, the point is looks is not everything and, like, maybe... Yeah, there are different strokes for different folks, and to me, like, looks are not a priority. I know that it can be different in um, very gay spaces, because one of my best friends tells me about those spaces and how he also has um, feelings of insecurity there because he doesn't match up to the standard, particularly in the country he's in, which is very different to what he fits. But also, like, he's also seen as, like, interesting, and he has great charisma and knows how to talk to people, and there's, there's so many ways to be things 
that are actually, when put together, way better than just being stereotypically hot. Yeah, and also I guess you do hear, I mean, I'm hoping perhaps that's the case you hear of, and obviously that's like a 0.01% of all the stereotypically attractive people, but you occasionally hear of them being like, hey, it's actually a burden, because, <laughs> no, no, because like people don't take me seriously, and or they are intimidated by mm -hmm. me, and or, yeah, you know, I can, people are just like taking me for my looks, and so it's very tricky to find that real connection with people. I mean, it's true, good-looking people often seem to be like thick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which exactly. I guess is, an, I mean, I, I'm struggling to find my sympathy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, sure it can, I'm sure it can be annoying. <laughs> life's hard, man. Life's hard. <coughs> okay, I make myself choke with my own insincerity. I've got like. <coughs> what's the word like that. The, the, yeah, I'm going. What, 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 what would it be? <coughs> Pretty privilege is killing me. Yeah, yeah. And I, under, yeah, I understand it. It can be a really big deal, but. <laughs> Imagine though. Oh, man, that'd be sick. How would you like to die? Mm, from pretty privilege. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you, it sounds like you're having chats and I get this like insecurity getting from like talking to someone on Tinder and you're like, oh my God, they're too good for true. Fuck, fuck, fuck. How do I stay charming? How do I stay funny? It's super stress. Like, I know this is a few weeks ago as well, so we'd be happy to hear a response knowing how it went for you since we're a bit late and it's probably developed in some way or another since then. I'm sorry, what was that? Well, because we got this about a month ago, oh, like, yeah. I'd be interested to hearing yes, what's, like, happened. Yes, please give us, yes, please give us, give us. Also, you know, oh my god, people put filters on Tinder, people use Facetune on their pictures, you might meet them and they may not be at all as pretty. So that's that as well. Yeah. Also, beauty is fleeting. Beauty is a thing that definitely with years it goes, <laughs> it goes. So... <laughs> Not for personal experience. Or anything. No, but like basically, it's it's a thing that will definitely, you know, they'll have it for a little bit, and then as soon as they will realize it's going, actually capture them at that particular point when they're insecure. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and then you know, then you're like, no, but I still love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see through you. So, so yeah, it's one of those things that definitely doesn't stay forever at all. Whereas with all the other solid qualities, like they're there for good usually. That's they're only true. they only grow. Yeah, like intellect, wit. Yeah. Charm. Yes. You That's only true. become better with those. Whereas beauty is like the one thing. Well, and riches, I guess. Mm, we should well, have said that to the equality person. That's a really nice point. Yeah, yeah riches as well. They dare fluctuate, but they fluctuate. Yeah. personality hopefully only improves. I wonder. Do you think you're a nicer person than you were five years ago? Yes, but I do wonder if I we like because everyone like you know you get like crotchety in your old age, right? Sorry, crushed in your crotch, crotch, like grumpy in your old age. Oh. So I wonder where it's like peak personality before it starts going downhill again. Yeah, I think I think I used to allow for people to step over me more five years ago and now I'm more confident and that might look like I'm more of a bitch or more of a like I don't know defiant or whatever or just I don't know I guess angry or whatever but it's only because I've actually come to understand who I am as a human being whereas before I was really 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 trying to please everyone so Whereas now I only please trying to please people that I actually care about. I'm the opposite. I I'm definitely see myself being walked over more now than I did five years ago. But I also think concurrently with that has been a kind of humility and a like realizing that my care for other people is bigger than my care for myself, which has grown hugely in the last three years, which I never really used to have. Oh wow. And and unfortunately that came alongside a therefore kind of putting other people's needs above my own in a sense which I end up with me getting stepped on which never used to happen to me I used to be a bit of a bully to be honest as a teenager but I, I appreciate the qualities that came with it which is like a lot of empathy towards other people and a lot of like really feeling their pain and also depression <laughs> I guess that's the thing that changes mental health. Yeah, that goes up and down, so who knows, right? Oh dear. But we hope we somewhat unpick it. Also, this. you said it seems like too intense a thing to actually bring up at this stage. I think it could be kind of funny to be like, dude, I'm gonna come clean, you're like super hot, and it's like ruining all my great one liners. I think that's quite a cute and charming thing to say. Yeah, yeah. Everyone likes being called pretty. Yeah. Disarm them. Mm. Okay. okay. 